Red and lads, welcome back to Kosi Zasna Podcast. My name is Kosi. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in all parts of the world. Welcome back to the evening update after Arsenal confirming Fabio Vieira as their second signing of the summer. Sky Sports, Fabrizio Romano and David Onstein have just confirmed that three more deals are incoming on Arsenal Football Club. And also Edward has just confirmed during the interview... Uh, did he confirm during that interview today? Because he did it a couple of days ago. But anyway, uh, during the interview for the announcement of Fabio Vieira, Edu confirming that more deals are going to be done. We want to end this transfer window in a very strong position as we can. Ale business for Arsenal is on according to Freddie Paxton. And of course, Arsenal want up to seven signings this summer. Why don't you do me a big favor? Hit the like button, subscribe to the podcast because we're very close to 46,000 subscribers. So subscribe and let's get this video to 800 likes. Make sure when you watch it, hit the like button because it massively adds on to some value according to YouTube. Right. So let's get to the content. Let's start off with uh, Edu's comments because um, uh, Arsenal have un uh, unveiled Fabio Vieira. We we've done the video. It's on the channel. Uh, you can watch it exclusively 14 minutes uh, of content but after confirming Fabio Vieira it was spoken about um, the next done deals spoken about the, you know, the general uh, feeling around the club more deals to come and he has said after uh, after signing Vieira now we are working hard on other signings and we will try to finish this transfer window in the best uh, in, in the best position we can in the strongest position uh, we can. And in my opinion, I think that is what Arsenal need. You definitely, after signing in, you know, such a young player, what you need is now uh, go out in the market, go for the likes of Yuri Tillemans, like we'll talk about uh, about them, according to David Onstein. Uh, go out there and sign the likes of Gabriel, who's 25, because, um, uh, look... Fabio Vieira is an under-21 international. So you want the experience in the squad. Like Mikel Atta said during, uh, during the end of the season, you want, you know, we want to bring in quality, maturity, and also depth. So, you know, all that coming into the squad, you need now players coming in, uh, players that have been tested, players that have played in the league, players that have uh, you know, played at the international level. And that's why the likes of Rafinha, Tillemans, and Gabriel Jesus, the next done deals to Arsenal, are absolutely important all of them are 25 and above played in the premier league actually you have three players 25 played in the premier league and have represented uh, their countries internationally that is huge and that really uh means a lot so edu good work on fabio Vieira, and also confirming that more done deals are incoming let's see what he's going to be doing in the next days as it was confirmed already by fabrizio romano that He's going to be signing in a couple of players. He's, he's working uh, on a couple of deals at the same time. Many deals at the same time. So we might need to give him time. But at, at least for the past 10 days, for the first 10 days of the transfer window, he has just proven to us, give me time. I'm going to do it. I will do it. I will do it. I'm Edu. I will do it. Now, moving on to um, Fabrizio Romano as well. Uh, on the announcement of Fabio Vieira, what a leak. I've, I didn't think he would do that. But of course, Romano is not that cheeky journalist. When he gets information, he puts it out there for the fans to enjoy it and also to, uh, you know, for a couple of journalists to jump onto it and use it as, uh, as their own. So Fabrizio Romano, on that announcement for Fabio Vieira, he has said official and confirmed Arsenal signed Fabio Vieira, Gabriel Jesus next. That is the point that... That was what I was waiting for. I, I was waiting for him to say um, Rafinha because I thought he was gonna say Rafinha next. Because Arsenal in the uh, in the past, you know, in the past forty eight hours have been working closely with Deco and also with uh, uh, George Mendes as well as uh, as as well as uh, um, uh, uh, jo uh, no, not really George Mendes, but Deco, uh, the uh, the agent of the player. We've been working closely with them to try to get the deal. Of course, we are in negotiations with um, with Leeds United and official bid. According to David Onstein that I'm going to tell you, and uh, sorry, according to Sky Sport that I'm going to tell you about is also loading. But I thought he was going to say next is Rafinha, but he said the next done deal at Arsenal is going to be Gabriel Jesus. The latest around this deal, I don't know what to say because I've told you everything I know about this deal. Deal, uh, you know, uh, 58 million euros on the table. Manchester City know that that is the money they're looking for. The player wants to leave. Arsenal have agreed personal terms with the player and everything is set. Arsenal 
uh, on the next hours will announce Gabriel Jesus as their next Dan Dell. Unless Matana shows up tomorrow on Wednesday, does his medicals, puts on that Arsenal shirt, and then we announce him as the third signing of the summer. But that is also confirmed. Fabrizio Romano, cheeky, 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 uh, you know, tweet put out, but very, very interesting. Confirming that, yes, Gabriel Jesus will be uh, next after Fabio Vieira. And my opinion, I think many Arsenal fans did expect this. Um, personally, I thought it was, uh, Gabriel Jesus was going to be our second signing of the summer. But the, f the rate and, and, and speed at which they've done the Fabio Vieira deal has been absolutely amazing and phenomenal. So, Fabio Vieira, fa you know, Fabio Vieira second, Maquinos first, Gabriel Jesus will be third the athletic david on stain has been speaking around arsenal transfers again uh and he spoke about rafinha uh uh to arsenal and and first and foremost uh you know fabio Vieira. he said fabio Vieira has been monitored by arsenal network for uh, for quite some time but the agency that you know the agency michael Arteta used in this deal is what got the deal over the line and now he's reporting uh, let's start off with uh, the Sky Sports because they have reported about Rafinha as well. So Sky Sports, for me, uh, an outlet that really doesn't commit into rumors, an outlet that by by the time they they jump onto the wagon, there is something uh, very very crucial happening. So out, uh, you know, Sky have said uh, Rafinha to Arsenal is on. Arsenal are expected to make an official offer in the coming hours that is huge that is absolutely huge. look I've, I've followed a couple of journalists at um at sky uh the likes of uh you know kave soliko many many Arsenal fans don't want uh Cali, don't like Cali, kave soliko i love him I, I i absolutely uh love him as a journalist i think he's okay i think he's fine so i mean they they do give us transfer rumors but uh they rather stay away from it and when they come out and say rafinha to arsenal is now advancing an official offer is expected from arsenal in the coming hours you know what they're talking about they're talking about a deal clause so i will not be very surprised if after gabriel Jesus, rafinha signs next i will not be very very surprised but of course uh, rafinha deal also i've given you the updates and uh, we've talked about everything the risk took about in that uh, in that video uh, of Rafinha signing for Arsenal. Everything you need to know. We've talked, you know, we've spoken about Barcelona's interest cooling. We've talked about uh, we've talked about um, the fact that che uh, that Arsenal, uh, Chelsea, and Tottenham are all interested, but Arsenal at the moment leading the race for Rafinha. And we also talked about the fact that uh, it's going to be around sixty-five to seventy-five million euros that is being demanded by Leeds United, but a deal will be closed. The agents of the player judgment as well actually what is interesting here lads is um um uh, the fabio Vieira deal could be very significant in uh in what happens with um uh, with, 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 with 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 the fabio Vieira deal will be very uh, significant with what what happens with rafinha because they're both represented by the same agency uh led by george mendes obviously deco working with that agency he's the agent to um to rafinha uh so it is now believed because because Edu worked closely with George Mendes uh, in Fabio in the Fabio Vieira deal and they had a success within that short period of time. Uh, it's believed that the same agency uh, will be used in this deal for Rafinha, and that's why you see it's going very very fast from genuinely interested to now an agreement, a verbal agreement, very very close. The moment Arsenal put in that offer, Leeds United evaluate it and feel, mm, yeah. Um, we'll get this one. We'll get this one done. I think it will be uh, officially done because with George Mendes, one of the things I know about him, his deals do not stall. He's not a mineral Rayola because with, with, with George Mendes, look, it's gonna take three point five million euros after the thirty five million that was um you know uh, paid by Arsenal to FC Porto. When you look at look, when you look at other agents, let's take an example of that uh, House M Owa agent. And why the deal eventually didn't happen, and why Arsenal signed uh, Fabio Vieira instead of a uh, Hausem Awa, who would be actually cheaper at the moment, and would have cost us around 35, uh, 40 million euros way back in um, uh, way back in twenty in, in twenty nineteen. The reason as why I've asked, you know, Arsenal decided to back out of that deal. It, it's 
agents complicating matters. The player is, you know, is, is positive to join the club, but then the agent keeps on demanding for high, uh, you know, high commissions, high fees, uh, ridiculous amounts of money, and things like that. So, George Mendes is different when it comes into it. It is coming to a couple of deals where, um, you know, talks have stagnated, and he's not actually the main uh, agent of the player, but. You know, he's helped Manchester United a lot in the past uh, and a couple of other clubs, you know, dealing with Portuguese and South American players. When he comes in, you know, he's a realistic agent. He comes in, he tells you what you need to do. I don't think uh, for Rafinha, uh, now that Leeds are asking for around 55 million euros, I don't expect Arsenal to bid, um, to bid anything less than 40. You know, that ridiculous attempt of, those ridiculous attempts of Arsenal always, you know, being very, 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 you know, below what is you know what what is required uh in the player so judge mendes working closely with edu to seal the rafinha deal and also we having uh, uh we're having rafinha being confirmed by sky sports as one of the next signings for us now as an offer is approaching but then lads uh what about yuri tillemans we have not talked about yuri tillemans um uh, you know uh, on a positive note, I think apart from the latest video that I've done uh, showing that his claws and, and talks are back on, David Onstein can now confirm, and he confirms, that Yuri Tillemans to Arsenal is known called. Actually, he says one of the next done deals, one of the next deals Arsenal could, you know, could complete uh, you know, at the Emirates Stadium could be Yuri uh, Telemans. Talks are not, you know, talks are going on. They have never gone cold. They have never stalled. Arsenal have just not made, uh, have just not made an initial bid like many outlets want it to be at the moment. So, personally, I understand now from, uh, from David Onstein what is happening with, uh, with this deal. I think being the fact that he's a priority and being the fact that, um, uh, Mikel Arteta and, and, and Edu have highlighted him as a priority. By now, many outlets are trying, you know, uh, uh, you know, think if they want him, they should have made a bid. If they want him, they should have made an offer. It's an easy, you know, it's an easy deal to do. Uh, the, the, the reason as to why they're not doing it is because they don't like it. That's absolute crap. That's absolute bullshit. What is happening is, like, report, as reported uh, on, by, 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 by Charles Watts, Arsenal do want to complete these uh you know these initial deals these initial priorities the likes of um you know saka saka's contract the likes of uh, Uri, uh the likes of um uh gabriel Jesus, uh, and probably rafinha i don't think rafinha is a priority above in the pecking order but i think rafinha would be a player that signs before you retellements because i mean it's 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 george mendes i mean his deals are, are, are that easy at that fast are that quick not easy but that quick but Yuri Tillemans' deal to Arsenal has never been off. Yuri Tillemans to Arsenal talks have never broken down between the players' uh, camp and Arsenal and also between Arsenal and Leicester City. The player is not considering signing a new contract at Leicester City. That one is also out. The three next stand deals are Arsenal. Apart from Matt Tanner, who joins us uh, this week as a new goalkeeper, backup goalkeeper to Aaron Ramsdale, will be Gabriel Jesus from Manchester City, confirmed, done, and dusted, as confirmed by uh, Johnny Smith, Manchester City correspondent for Goal.com, yesterday. The next stand deals will be Rafinha, as confirmed by uh, Sky Sports, an official offer, huge official offer incoming from Arsenal Football Club. And also, we are looking at Yuri Tillemans as our third big signing of the summer. Those are marquee signings of the summer. Take note, Arsenal do not consider Marquinhos, Matt Turner, and, Mark, uh, and Fabio Vieira as marquee signings. Our marquee signings will be Rafinha, Yuri Tillemans, and Gabriel Esses. That is it for me this evening and, of course, from me today. Unless otherwise, unless we get a breaking story, I'll speak to you tomorrow.